Well, remember, remember when we had the little excavator on this trailer? I can't use that until that gets reinforced. On the uh, FF15, uh, just gonna install the fan. Want it to push away from the engine. This is the hottest side. We got the exhaust. Got the pump, and it's gonna push it outside. And it's definitely set up to push the heat out. All right, for now, the only switch it's gonna get is the battery shut off. Apparently it's going to be farther away from that thing. Uh, all right, apparently this bolt right there was on the inside of the fan. I didn't see it. And that's what was making a racket. Now I just got to bolt her down like that, I think. I'll try it again. As you can see, I dropped it already and broke one of the blades off. And so I had to break another blade off over there so it was balanced. How far did you get in there? About right in there. Right there? Yep. Perfect. Then tap it up and drill a hole through the other side for a few grease. And I shot grease through that one too. Sure. I had these machined at Dakota Fluid Power in Cohasset, Minnesota. Uh, seemed to do a pretty good job at it. I was actually thinking of going through the uh, 
that in. You want me to do it on this one? No. Oh. I'm put the grease board in. That grease ring, then. But it's at least like making the square one. Yep. Okay. Then at least if the pin's really tight in there, the grease has can get all the way around it still. Okay. Sometimes it takes a little bit, but it's like so. So, this is leaking a little bit. Um, found out all these little bolts, except one was tight. The rest were uh, almost finger tight, I guess, with the Allen wrench. And the O ring was kind of bent out of its out of its spot down here. So I put that back in place, cleaned it up. Now we're gonna get some red goop on there. The, uh, the bolts that went through into the frame, they were all nicely tightened and they had the red sealant on there, but we managed to get them on. So. So I almost got it back together. Uh, taking off this hose and this hose makes it a lot easier to get at. Well, guys, we've got the FF15. Did a little work today. This had a little problem with today. Basically what we had to do is unplug it and plug it back in and the hydraulics would work for the controls up here. So the last time it gave us trouble, we wound up pinching the terminals together and so far I think it fixed it. So it's just uh, these top screws. And lift it off, take that off. So yeah, we drilled a bunch of holes and it worked good except the ground was kind of clay and water and root system. So. Well guys, I just got my quick couplers from Dakota Fluid Power in Cohasset. And got my, I had to get adapters. They ordered them and they have some in stock now. So they fit the 3 8 pipe thread, quick coupler to, I, think, I believe it's a 14 millimeter DIN, DIN. So, and they fit perfectly, I guess. There you have it. Got the first one on. Just gonna tighten them up. All right, put the female on. This is the one that's attached to the machine. Perfect.
and it goes to the auger. Well guys, we got the uh, quick couplers on, on the other side. Got the uh, bolts I had machined with grease zerks. So I could use this. And they fit in the, in the holes there. And got the 12 inch auger. It uh, worked surprisingly well in uh, sand and clay. Clay acted like uh, like it was really biting in and uh, could have used the counter weight in the back, I believe. But other than that, it uh, worked pretty good.